Stars of the Future, and today I'm doing George Monker. And as you, if you don't know, I'd take him 10 years into the future in career mode, and we're going to see what his rating is. As you can see, he starts off with a mediocre card, 62 red in centre midfield. And I will say now that I do move him into, I do move him into cam in this career mode. So 69 pace, 65 dribbling, 62 shots, 53 defence, 60 pass. And as you can see, his physical is not that bad either as you can see it's not a very good card but I can tell you he does get better and I think you will be surprised within the first season how good he does it and excuse me for my nose and my front is a bit bunged up at the moment but let's go into season one so season one saw George incredibly got by plus seven in his overall rating and as you can see his stats have improved a lot 73 base 76 dribble 70 shot 54 defence, 70 passing and 65 physical. As you can see, most of his stats are low to mid 70s. I mean, except from the defence, which you can let him off for, he's becoming a great player. And let's go into season two. Season two wasn't as amazing as his first season, but it's still impressive going up by plus three in his overall rating. And he's now got some great stats. I mean, 80 dribbling, 74 pace and 74 shot isn't too bad, plus the pass. And his physical is not too bad either. So as you can see, he's becoming a really good player. And I did enjoy playing with him. His shot was amazing. But now, let's go into the Season 3. So Season 3 couldn't live up to the expectations of Season 1 and 2. Only gone up by plus 1 in his overall reign. But still have an amazing stat. So 74 pace, 81 dribbling, 74 finishing, 57 defence, 76 pass and 66 physical. As you can see, some pretty impressive stats here for a cam. And he did feel good. He felt more like a gold card and I can say in season 3 he did reach that 75 rates and that gold rating card but most importantly what is he in season 10 let's find out sadly George went back down to 71 starting the season at a 73 rated overall and sadly his stats aren't as good as they used to be well some of them I mean 61 pace and 38 physical it's not good but he's still got amazing stats 85 dribble 74 shot 83 passing still pretty impressive so sadly he couldn't make it and I can say the highest he got was the 76 slash 77 marks. So that was pretty impressive and that was around season 6. So he did drop off by quite a bit. But as you know players do age in, the, in perimeter and as they get older their stats tend to go down. But I'm still really impressed with his card. He did make good progress up. He just couldn't maintain it. So yeah, leave in the comments who you want next. I think I might do Alex Gould but if you want anyone else leave it in the comments and can we hit... I'm going to go for about 7 likes in the video today. Thank you for watching the video today. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I was like to say thank you for my Peterborough review, which has got 11 likes so far, which is amazing.